Hey guitar champion, what's going on? Justin Hombach here, back from my practice cave. And welcome to today's video, where we are going to take a look at my top four favorite licks in the style of Tony McAlpine. Here we go. The following four licks are inspired by Tony's work from his Planet X era, together with Virgil Donati and Derek Sherinian, his solo career, some of his more new classical kind of style, some are a bit more fusion kind of style, um, but really interesting and all in the style of Tony McAlpine. Four really cool licks that maybe give you the touch of the T-Mac. Alright, let's start with lick number one. First I'm going to play all the licks slow and then I'm going to break it down a little bit more. If you want to download the free tabs for those licks, check the description box. There's a link where you can download all of those tabs. All right, here we go with lick number one. All right, lick number one goes like this slow. A little bit faster. Okay, here we are starting with two combinations of um, uh, two sweep arpeggios. And first we're starting with a C major arpeggio. Starting on the 15th fret of the A string. So we have 15, 18 on the A string, hammering. Playing the fifth, uh, sorry, the 17th fret on the D string. And now we are playing on top of it an E flat major arpeggio. So we have 15 on the G string, 16 on the B string, 15 on the E string, and 18 on the E string again. And this combination gives us a C minor 7 arpeggio. Now we're tapping the 2nd and the minor 3rd here on the 22nd fret and the 23rd fret. We're doing a little tap, slide and sliding back, and then we're playing the E flat major arpeggio, so we have 18, 15 on the E string, 16 on the uh, B string, and now we're taking this shape and playing all the octaves of it, the three octaves that we have here. Okay, and besides that, we are also tapping one note. Well, the first time we're coming from a tapped note. And then we're tapping always the second of C minor. So the next time on the G string into the 19th fret. And then on the A string to the 17th fret. Going here on the 11th fret of the E string. Pulling to the 10th fret. And sliding to the 8th fret to the C, our root note. Alright, let me play this up to tempo. All right, this was lick number one. Let's continue with lick number two. Lick number two is a really cool combination from two techniques, which Tony McAlpine is doing a lot. He is combining sweep picking and hammer-ons from nowhere. And here I'm demonstrating you this to with an A major arpeggio. <laughs> So what is he doing here? Well, he's sweeping down the A major arpeggio starting on the low E string. Now we don't have any hammer-ons on the low strings, only here on the high E string. Um, so we are using a little bit of an interesting um, arpeggio structure here. We're starting with a major third and going straight to the root dot. From there on, it's our basic root third uh, fifths, root third fifths. Then he's tapping the octaves, and now he's pulling the octaves, pulling the E uh, string, and then he's doing just hammer from nowhere. Okay, so in frets we have nine, here's our major third. Then 12th fret with our pinky, our root note on the A string. On the D string we have again the major third, this time on the 11th fret. 9th fret on the G string, the 5th. Root 10th fret on the B string. Major third, 9th fret on the uh, E string. 5th, 12th fret on the E string and octave here. Now what do we have to do when we want to transform this major arpeggio into a minor arpeggio? Right, we only have to take our 
a third, from a major third to a minor third. So everything one half step below. So this is the shape now. From the 9th fret it becomes the 8th fret, here from the 11th fret it becomes the 10th fret and we have now the 8th fret again on the E string. Um, now let's take this arpeggio idea and transform it into a different key, for example into D minor. Then we are here, oh, sorry here, yeah. yeah that was right. Or for example, let's say, uh, what about uh, F major? Or C major? Oh, this was C major 7 actually. The ending note, the third note, can sound a little bit strange in the beginning, but in the context when there's a chord with a piano playing or another guitarist playing, um, then it makes a little bit more sense because we don't end on the root note. As usual, we are ending with this sixth jump here, going from the minor six or the major six, depending on if we have the major third or the minor third. And this interval sounds a little bit strange in the beginning, but as I've said, when you're having a keyboard player or a guitarist playing the chords, then it makes total sense. So try to check out those arpeggios, sweeping up, hammering from nowhere down. This makes it a little bit easier for all the sweet beginners. Okay, now lick number three. So this lick is definitely more from his Fusion Planet X cap kind of era. And here he's using, um, I wouldn't say harmonic minor necessarily or a um, minor major seven arpeggio. He is using the major seven in a minor context, but, but more like a chromatical approach. For example, um, let's break down this lick. We have first this line going, we are by the way in A flat minor, really interesting kind of key. And we have this kind of scale run first. We are playing root note on the 13th fret on the G string, going to the 11th fret on the B string, 12th fret on the B string. Ah, sorry, before we are going to the 12th fret on the B string, we are going to the 12th fret on the G string. <laughs> This is our major 7 in a minor context. But we're using it, as, as I've said, more like a chromatical approach. Then we're going root, um, second, minor third, and again the root and the second. You could say you repeat this lick. And then playing the root note and the second again. It's a really interesting rhythmical idea as well because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. A six note phrase in a 60 note uh, subdivision. One, two, three, four. And then after this, we are playing again the 12th fret and the 14th fret on the B string. And now we're playing the A flat minor scale. Starting on the fifths, playing to the sevenths. So we have 11, 12, 13, 12, 11. Um, sorry, 11, 12, 14, 12, 11, 14, 12, 11 on the B string and 13th fret on the G string. Now playing again the major seven playing here like in minor major 7 arpeggio with a second in it you know typical kind of arpeggio for this jazz fuji minor major 7 kind of sound playing it through the root through the root note to our major 7 and resolving into a root note okay let's play this lick again Ok, 
Okay, lick number four is a really cool scale run where we are ending it with a sweep up at you, which is really typical in the style of Tony McAlpine. Let's check out this lick. Lick number four, slow. <laughs> And now up to tempo. Okay, here we are in the scale of G minor and we are starting here on the 18th fret on the E string playing 18, 17, 15. Going to the B string playing 18, 16, 15, 16, 18, 16, 15. So down, up, down again. All in triplet notes and 60 note triplets. Playing 17, 15, 14, going to the D string, playing 17, 14, 15 again. This kind of a reversed Paul Gilbert lick. We are playing again to the 17th fret on the D string and now we're playing descending the scale to the C on the 15th fret on the A string so before that we have 17, 15, 13, 17, 15 on the D and on the A string and then on the A string we are starting with the B flat major arpeggio Again, a sweep arpeggio hammering from the 13th fret to the 17th fret from the root to the major 7, 3rd, sorry. Then we're playing 15, 15, 15 on the D, G and B string. Keep a reminder for the roll technique here with our middle finger. Playing to the 13th fret on the E string and resolving into our note, which is where we started at, the 18th fret on the E string. Okay, let me play this lick for you uh, again. So those were my favorite four licks in the style of Tony McAlpine. I hope you liked this little video, I hope you liked this little lesson. If you liked the video, click the subscribe button to see more videos, more free content coming every week. If you have any questions or any problems with something, feel free to join the Progress Nation group, my official Facebook group, where you can post your music, your stuff and ask me anything. I do a little bit of live streaming there, here and there. And yeah, I'm trying to help you there. All right, so I wish you a really great time learning, practicing and mastering those four licks to get this kind of special T-Max style. And yeah, now it's time to go back into the practice cave to get prepared for the next lick lesson. I hope I'm going to see you in my next video. So far, cheers and stay progress. Bye.